Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are property taxes in NYC? Property taxes in New York City are a complex system that differs significantly from the rest of the state. These taxes are levied to fund various local services and are based on the value of real property. Assessment System In NYC, property is divided into four classes for tax purposes. Class 1 includes most residential properties with up to three units, while Class 2 includes larger residential properties, such as larger condominium buildings and rental properties. Class 3 covers utility properties, and Class 4 includes commercial and industrial properties. Class Shares and Assessment Procedures Each class has a specific percentage of the total property tax burden. For instance, Class 1 properties, which include single-family homes, contribute 15% of the total tax burden, despite representing 47.77% of the market value. Class II properties, which include larger residential and rental properties, contribute 37% of the tax burden. Calculation of Assessed Value For Class I properties, the assessed value is calculated based on a traditional market value approach, using comparable sales prices from the previous three years. This value is then multiplied by the Class I assessment ratio, which is 6%. Tax Rates the average effective property tax rate in NYC is relatively low compared to other parts of the state. For example, in Manhattan, the rate is 0.98%, while in Brooklyn, it is 0.78%. Exemptions and abatements. Homeowners in NYC can benefit from various exemptions and abatements, such as the school tax relief star exemption, the senior citizens homeowners exemption, the veterans exemption, and the disabled homeowners exemption. These exemptions can significantly lower the effective tax rates for homeowners. Reform efforts. There are ongoing discussions about reforming the NYC property tax system to make it more equitable. Proposed reforms include basing residential property taxes on actual value rather than type of structure and ensuring that renters directly benefit from any reductions in property taxes. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.